<laughs> just uh, sold this watercolour painting of a red fox and it's off to Canada all the way to Gladys she stays in Victoria BC Canada <laughs> it's got a long journey to go next We're into autumn now. Autumn leaves are falling. Here's my friends, guys. The hole in the wall pigeon. Bye bye. Had to show you this. Look at the beautiful autumn colours All coming in now In the King's Park King's Hunting Ground Past Hunting Ground Here we are on another day's vlog The last vlog people seem to have enjoyed it so Let's hope this one's the same <laughs> I don't need to tell you where I'm at We'll go a different way today. This is the back entrance. That's a back walk. I usually come up and there's the gate I've just came through. I usually stand over there and look over. But this is the back entrance to the lady's seat. So, Holyrood Church. Royal Church and the lady's seat. Let's see if we get any tourists up here today. How long it what I mean is how long it'll take before the tourists arrive. There are a couple. Let's see if they come up here. I'm heading over here. Well, they didn't even last two minutes there. Those two people behind me, they came up, so I just left it. So I thought maybe we'll go into the old cut yard, have a look at some of the graves. Here's one here. John Murray, merchant of Stirling, and Jane Murray, 1858 is got up there. Alex Brennan, John Murray, this is probably a whole family. John Murray, son of the above, 55 years of age, 1901. But it says up there, merchant of Stirling, so. That must mean that was a family of merchants. These are really old. Some of them, the writing's just wearing off. That's a George Morrison, 1850. But there's a really old one by there, behind them there. Nice, eh? Look at that one. That's a huge. Randolph. I want to quickly go along. Now I know what that means. Uh, a baker? That means a baker, I think. Wheat sheaf and uh, the oven shovels. Can't make what? Oh, it is 1804. 
It's just got the initials on it. But that's a a baker's trade mark. Nice, eh? I thought I'd come in here and let you see that while those tourists are looking at the scenery. Lovely, eh? That's just a couple guys. And this this uh, this old kirk is below the Royal Holyrood Church. As you know, that's where the Mary Queen of Scots' son was uh, crowned. The James, 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 I can't remember what James is, is that one of the Jameses? Oh, uh, James, uh, James, James the second or the first. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen for you, my memory, you know what my memory is like, it just goes. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that wee bit of cut, but you can see there's a whole vast array of stuff that you could go through here. The history and whatever, but let's leave it at that at the moment. We'll do that in another vlog. I just thought I'd kill time there. There's the lady's seat up there. We'll go back up. As usual, I was coming round the corner and another couple of tourists went up, so I've just chosen my usual venue. <laughs> this this one I don't get uh, I don't get disturbed as much here. Uh, there's not a lot of tourists know about this seat. It's a big seat as you know. A big stone seat. But anyway, I thought I'd let you I'd stop and have a wee chat and let you know what's happening. Uh, as you've seen in the last vlog, I'm doing that Queen Victoria painting, so I'm hoping to get some of that done uh, maybe this weekend or whatever. If not, it'll be during the week. And uh, the next one after that, I said in the last vlog that it was going to be. Well, who did I say? It was Napoleon. Uh, but I've got a choice. I've got Napoleon or Bonnie Prince Charlie. Either one of the two, so. Uh, I'm just looking guys, look. There's the peregrine chasing. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. You see it? And now the crow's chasing the peregrine. Lovely, eh? I told you up here. There's a bit of wildlife. Oh, zoomed in too much. Zoom back out. That was nice to see. That's that peregrine. This must be his territory, so I'll try and get up here with a wildlife camera. I should have actually brought it. I can still see him up there. So this is his territory. He's <laughs> getting rid of that crow. Yeah. Either that or the crow's chasing him. But that's nice, that's nice to know. Sorry for the distraction guys, but when it comes to wildlife, I drop everything. Yeah, lovely. So I'll remember and bring my wildlife camera up here the next time so I, yeah, I can get some good shots and fuddies. But anyway, I was saying uh, Napoleon or Bonnie Prince Charlie, that's the two next ones after Victoria. Uh, I'm reading a bit about Bonnie Prince Charlie now, so if you understand, uh, you get that vibe and you get the feeling, you get the look, uh, what Bonnie Prince Charlie would look like, you can visualise his walk and his talk and whatever. And while that's fresh in my mind, because I'm, I'm researching about the uh, Jacobites, that he led, so that's that that uh, kind of era. So, and it's actually it's on a bit where it's based on where he sieged the castle at Stirling. So I've got all that fresh in my mind. So once I get some of Victoria completed, I'm going to continue reading that book, keep the memories fresh, and start Bonnie Prince Charlie. I've got two canvases uh, prepped, ready for those to paint. So. Look out for them. <laughs> I thought I'd give you that wee bit of information since it was in the last vlog. Today I'm off to, as normal, I'm off treasure hunting 
to get some goods for my eBay shop and I hope to get some like so let's carry on next <laughs> what a beautiful day it's turned out it's really warm now it was cold this morning but it's nice warm now Right guys, now a quick haul to show you what treasures I got yesterday, it's the next morning so I thought it would be good to show you some of the treasures that I got from the charity shops. Now first of all, as you all know I love wooden handmade uh, artefacts, figures, sculptures, blah blah. This is an old Scottish woman and she's a... Uh, spinning wool but look at that guys there's the wool there it's real wool as well so the price on that was can I see that can you see that I think it's two pound or three pound but uh, that's a great great buy love it look at that it gives me uh, ideas for some paintings as well because I'm doing a lot of Scottish uh, 18th century paintings at the moment so that'll give me a good idea for a Scottish woman spinning wool. Next, something completely different. It's a uh, Chateaignaria. It's a fruit bowl, salad bowl. And it's in its original box. The only thing is there's a ticket that's been on there and it's been ripped off, but that doesn't matter. It comes in its own box for protection and for delivery. Most important thing, I'll take it and let you see it. You see the colours of this guys, this is what uh, attracted me to it and it's heavy. So, but look at the colours in that guys. Look at the colours in that. That's what attracted me to it. Can you imagine the fruit inside there? So that's a fruit bowl and that was, as you can see in there, a fiver. So that was a great buy and it's heavy. Great, great salad bowl. There it is with the white background. and that lovely? <laughs> Somebody's going to get a great buy with that anyway. You don't come across them very often. And believe me, you know how many treasure hunts I, I do. So, next, there's another couple of wooden art. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Memory card ran out. Forgot to delete the uh, files from the other day. So, it was full. I was only at the end of the card. So, Sorry about that. I was saying, I was surprised when I got these and uh, what, what they were. Look at this. You see what it is? It's a nose, a mouth, and it's hand carved. It's on a wooden 
but it's all carved in the one piece. And there's another one that came in a pair, so <laughs> how unusual are these guys, eh? These cost three pound each. They're pretty for a chat for a chat shot they were they were pretty expensive, but uh, I can make a profit on them. But look at that guys. Isn't that lovely? Superb, eh? Where will you ever see anything like this again? Lovely. <laughs> so that's the noses. <laughs> nose, nose and mouth. I have a great smell with these every time I bring them out. Tempted to keep them, but I'm a business as I told you, so I have to get some income to pay the bills. I'm a struggling artist. <laughs> the obligatory silver tray, and it's great because I just sold one of these as a drinks tray. That was 150. Cancer research, but these, I couldn't get enough of these as I've said, says to you some teen times. Next. I'm going to go through quick in case this card runs out. Another jewellery box, wooden box. And it's in a kind of interior design. Kind of, it's wooden though, it's wooden. It's been uh, an interior kind of design that would go for £4. Can't go wrong with that. And it's got a an open top there. I think that's made of metal. But that will do someday as a keepsake box. Lovely, eh? Next! <laughs> Right guys, you maybe recognise this because I've already sold one of these, well I've not sold one, I've already bought one of these to sell and it's on my eBay shop so this is the, the second one of this. The last one I paid £25 for and I got a real great bargain. This one was uh, £7. I had to snap it up, you know I have another one, they never go wrong. It's, uh, it's uh, champagne flutes. But once I shine that up, it'll look a lot better. So that's uh, a great buy. Couldn't go buy bypass. I paid twenty five pound the last time for one, so you get that one for seven. So that'll make up for the price I paid in the last one. Next, the obligatory silver plate rose bowl. Now you know yourselves. I see a lot of these. They all go to Russia. Couldn't go wrong. Three pound. So that's a good buy. These are great on the kitchen table or dining room table with some flowers or roses in them. That's why the Russians love them. Next! Milk jug. A blogger milk jug as well. I, I've got a teapot with that as well. So, But that one, they were sold separate. Uh, I can't, the tickets fell off that. I think I paid about three or four pounds for that. But these... As you all know, everybody always wants a, a milk jug for their table, so these no, don't go wrong either. As you can see, I had a great uh, treasure hunt, great uh, buy-in day. You don't get them very often, especially these times. Now, £5 I paid for this. Lovely teapot. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know how many teapots I've got or how many teapots I have bought over the, the past years. But that one will shine up nice as well. No, too particularly dirty, but it'll shine it up so it looks great. And that'll go to someone's tail. So that's the last one. That was a uh, five, five, five pounds guy, guys. So great, great one to end end off on. Out of all the haul here today, I think my favourite is salad bowl, the fruit bowl. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little haul there. You can see it was a successful day and I had a great day at the castle. So I'm going to get prepared to get these up on my EB shop and as usual my link is in the description box below if you ever fancy any of my goods in my shop, my art, my paintings, blah blah blah. In the description box below you'll get the link. You'll not be bored looking through them all because I've got loads. I think I've got nearly 300 uh, on at the moment. Last, before the virus came about, uh, I had about 400 items. But as I said, you had a successful time uh, during the virus uh, lockdown. And uh, I was ever so grateful. Uh, not so many people were as fortunate. But uh, I pray to God and uh, <laughs> yeah, I thank him. I can't thank him enough. But anyway. That's Stop Blood and Call. That's my haul for today and until the next one I'll say bye bye.
<laughs> that was a good one, eh?